Okay, so we're looking at a topic called averages from frequency tables. So averages means we're looking at what we call the mean, the mode, the median, and sometimes they ask you about the range. Okay, I've got three different sets of questions here. That's easy, then it goes to this part. Okay, this part we call it the grouped data, the frequency table for grouped data. This is not grouped data, so this is your table for discrete, like this one. And a normal circumstance, when we ask you to find the mean of anything, the definition is that you add all the numbers together and you divide by how many there are. So if I ask you to find the mean of these numbers, all you do is add every single one of them together, then you divide by how many numbers are there. The purpose or the reason why we start to use a table is that when you are dealing with bigger, in terms of when the numbers are more, then it's confusing to be adding them one by one in this way. So therefore, we come to a table. So I'm going to use this table to put these numbers on this table. And that will lead us to starting how we work with the table. So here, this is called a tally table. This part tally means count how many there are using lines. Then the frequency means the lines that you got, write them in number four. So if I start with number two, I'm going to count how many twos are there. That is one. And I can't see any more. So here you put a bar and you write number one here. Let's go to the number three. Looking for three, that is one. There is no more three. So then we put a bar. Frequency is one. Let's go to four. There is one. Two, three, four. So I will have one, two, three, four, and the number is four. If we look at five, that is one, two, three, four, five, six. So six of them. So you do one, two, three, four. Instead of writing the fifth one, we don't do it. You use it to cross out. That shows you've got a bunch of five, and then you put a one there. So that is six. If we go to number six, we have one, two, three. So that is one, two, three. You put it there. Number seven, one, two, three. So that is one, two, three. You write your number there. Now we're left with eight. So we've got one, two. So that is just one, two. Now this becomes your frequency table. So, we're going to use this to find out the mean, the mode, and the median. Okay? So, let's start off with the mean. The mean means add all the numbers. So, here you could have added all these numbers and divide by how many there are. But once it comes to a table, then you cannot just add them like that. If you do that, that is wrong. The reason is that here, this tells you how many fours were there in the table. So here you can see the 4 was written 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So if you were adding from here, you were going to do 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. So how many times have we done it? 4 times. So when it's in a table form, all you do is you add another column. That column you add, you call it Fx. What that means is, is the frequency times its corresponding number. So the frequency is the F, the X stands for the length. So here, we are going to do 1 times by 2. So 1 times 2 equals 2. You do the same thing here, 1 times by 3. So 1 times 3 equals 3. You do it for that, 4 times 4. So we have 4 times 4 equals 16. You go to this side, you have 6 times by 5. So that gives us 6 times 5 equals 30. Okay. The next one, 3 times 6. So we have 3 times 6 equals 18. Okay. Next one, we have 3 times by 7. So that is 3 times 7 equals 21. Then the last one, 2 times 8. So we have 2 times 8 equals 16. Okay, that is the first step. The second step is we're going to add all of the new answers we have here together. 
So we have a calculator. So we do 2 plus 3, which is 5, plus 16, which gives us 21, plus 30, gives you 51, 51 plus 18, gives you 69, 69 plus 21, gives you what? It gives you 90. 90 plus that, it gives us 106. Okay, is that what you got on the calculator? So here, the total equals 106. Then, the mean set divide by how many numbers were there all together. So here, tells you how many numbers were there all together. So 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 4 is 6, plus 6 is 12, 15, 18, 20. So here, our total equals 20. So if we want to find the mean in books, they give you the mean in maths, we put it like this. X with a bar. Or whatever they use, if they use L, it becomes L with a bar. The bar means the mean. Then they will write the formula as this. You will see this sign in your textbooks. Then they will put F of X over F. This sign here just means summation. Sum. Summation. That's what we call it in math. Summation just means sum. It means add. So we are adding them. So here we have added them. And what did we get? 106. So this will be 106. Divided by how many were there all together? 20. So what is 106 divided by 20? 5.3. So our mean equals 5.3. Then they will ask you to find the mode. Here, because the numbers are written down, it's easy to know which one is the mode. The mode means the most common number. So the number that they have written more, or the number you see most of the time, that is the meaning of mode. If the numbers were not written, and we're looking at the table, then the mode is the number here that has the highest frequency. The mode will be the number here that has the highest what? Frequency. So here, the highest frequency is what? Six and what is the number there? Five. So the mode equals five. Then they will ask you to find the median. The median. The median is another interesting one. So to find the median, median means the middle number. Median, middle. That's how we get the name. So middle, median number, the middle number. What it means is that. If it was written in this way, then in class, we always tell you, write the numbers in order and choose the middle one. So every time it's in a table, the table is already in order. So I don't need to rewrite it. So to find a median, find a middle number here on your frequency. What is the total frequency here? 20. So if I want the middle one, it means half of it. So the median is 20 divided by 2, which gives you what? 10. But please, I'll put a cross here. The 10 is not your answer. That's why I put the cross there. It's not your answer. What the 10 means is that go back to the frequency. Keep adding your frequencies until you get number 10. Until you get the answer 10. It cannot be less than 10. But then it can be more than what? 10. So let's see here. 1 plus 1 is 2. Is that up to 10? No. 2 plus 4 is 6. Is that up to 10? No. 6 plus 6 is what? 12. Is that up to 10? Yes, because it's more than what? 10. So it means our median is here. It means our median is here. So what is the number there? 5. So it means your median equals 5. And that is the median. That is how we find the median. Make sense? Okay. So I'm not going to waste too much time on this one here because it's similar to what I have done here. So all you do is extend this, always draw you another line, do this times by that. So that is your fx. 1 times 2 is 2. So I'm not going to do the times here anymore. 3 times 3 is 9. 5 times 4 is 20. 8 times 5 40. 5 times 6, 30. 
now we are going to add them together so here if we add them with our calculator one 2 plus 9 is 11 11 plus 20 is 31 31 plus 40 is 71 plus 30 is 101 yes. is that what you got good then we find the total of our frequency 1 plus 3 is 4 4 plus 5 is 9 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 5 is 22 we write good so now let's find our mean so mean can you see mean will be equal summation f of x over summation f so that equals 101 divided by 22 so what is our mean our calculator gives us 4.555 recurring 5 4.59 recurring so we have 4.59 as our answer mean then if i'm asked to find the mode again our mode is the most common number so go to the frequency what is the highest frequency here highest frequency is what eight but eight is not the number the eight is the frequency the eight is telling you how many times that number came so what is the number of pins on that side five so our mode equals five make sense then let's find the median median is the middle what number these numbers are not written down so to find the middle number we need to find the middle of the total frequency so our median would be 22 divided by 2 which gives you what 11 11 is not the answer i put a cross there 11 is the position so the number you are looking for is on the 11 fourth position so here if I was to write all these numbers in line, then I'm choosing the 11 volt position. So I go back to my frequency table and keep adding until I get 11 or more than what? 11. So 1 is smaller than 11, so it cannot be this number. Plus 3 is 4, still smaller than what? 11. 4 plus 5, 9, still smaller than what? 11. So 9 plus 7 is what? Uh, 9 plus 8 is 17. It means it's bigger than 11. So our answer is here. So what is the number there? 5. So our median again equals to 5. Happy? So these are easy frequency what? Table numbers. If they ask you in this type of question to find the range, is the bigger number here? Take away the smallest what? number that is the ring so let's quickly move on to this one here and see this is different to this this one we call it a special name is called grouped data grouped because they are in a group this means it can be any number bigger than zero but less than what 10 so it's like you are in a class You've got a student of 30 as my class is some are even 31 you did a test somewhere scoring 20 50 40 10 5 6 so what i decided to do was i said anybody who scored from 5 to 10 stand up i didn't mention the specific number so anybody who got five will stand up if a person got six they will stand up so all people up to 10 are going to what stand up that is why it's called group so once you stand up i don't know your score all i know is you got either from 5 up to what? 10. That is why it's called grouped data. So to find the mean of a group data, we are going to add two more columns. That is how we do this one. This would have two more columns added. And I will explain what the columns are. The first column, we call it the midpoint. The midpoint. M I D P O I N T midpoint. What does the midpoint mean? It means the middle of these numbers here. Why do we choose the middle? We choose the middle because if people who scored 5 to 10 stand up, the middle from 5 to 10 will be roughly around 6 or 7. So what it means is that if I add the scores of those people together and divide by how many people are there, 
the answer would not be less than five because those who stood up were five to ten. So I can't get an answer that's less than five. And I cannot get an answer that is more than ten. So it's going to be in between five to what? Ten. So we use the middle. So here, from zero to ten, what is the middle? If we are confused to choose the middle, all you do is add the two numbers here and divide by two. So what is zero plus ten? Ten. Divide by two, that's five. What is ten plus twenty? Thirty. Divide by two, fifteen. What is twenty plus thirty? Fifty. Divide by two, twenty-five. What do you see here? The numbers are going up in what? Ten. So I don't even need to do anything again. I can just write these answers here. Always check. Here, the difference is 10. Here is 10. Here is 10. Here is 10. Here is 10. That's why the answer was increasing by what? 10. The next column is what we call FM. Some books will call it FMP. It's the same as here when I call it FX. So what it means is that this are now going to replace the numbers here. These are going to replace the numbers what? Here. So here, I'm not going to do three times anything here. I'm going to do the three times five here. Okay? So here, you have three times five. That equals 15. Now, you move here. Eight times 15. What do we get? 120. Because eight times 10 is 80. Eight times five is 40. Add them. Here, 11 times 25, easy, I, I did a trick on 11 times table. Split the numbers, 25 into 2, add them together, 7, put it in the middle. So this, if you use a calculator, you should have 275, right? Good. So that's 275. Here, 9 times 35. What does that give you? 315. 3, 315. Three, okay. And 9 times 45? 405. Well done. Now, it's easy to now find your mean. Our mean is going to be the same. The same formula. So mean equals summation FMD over summation F. So, can we add these numbers together here? 15 plus 120 plus 275 plus 315 plus 405. What does the total give you? So we have 1,130. Now let's add our frequencies here. 3 plus 8 is 11. 11 plus 11, 22 plus 9, 31 plus 9, 40. So here, our total is 40. So this means our mean is 1, 1, 3, 0, divide by 40. Now what does that give us, please? 28. 28.25 and that is our mean if you are asked to find the mode the question in the GCSE paper will say find the modal class look at the difference here it will say find the mode in this type of question it will say modal class because you cannot choose a number so you have to choose the class so the mode which of this frequency is the highest 11. So what is the class there? 20 to what? 30. So our modal class, this is how they spell it. Modal class. That's how the question will be. Modal class. You have to write it exactly as it is in the question. So that is 20, your M, and your 30. Finished. Then they will ask you again, the median class. Okay? So let's find the median class. Median class. You do the same way here. The median class is going to be half of your frequency, which is 20. So we do 40 divided by 2. That gives you 20. I'll put a cross there to show you we are looking for the position. So let's go back here. 3 is less than 20, so it cannot be there. 3 plus 11, uh, 8 is 11. Still less than 20, it cannot be there. 11 plus 11 is what? 22. Is more than 20. So that means 20 is found here. So our median class would be equal to 20. So that 
would be our major class. And these are the questions they will ask. This type of question, GCSE is worth seven marks. Finding the mean is four marks. They will give you finding the modal class, two marks. One mark, sorry, median class is two marks. One mark for the modal class. And they have another question. They will ask you, explain why your answer here, the mean answer, is just an estimate. That's the final question you put on this type. So four marks for calculating the mean, two marks for finding the median class, one mark for the modal class, and they have another question that says, explain why your answer here is an estimate. All you have to write there is that is an estimate because we did not know the actual numbers. So we used the midpoint. Clearly, that's all you have to write. We did not know the actual what? Numbers. Therefore, we use the midpoint, which is an estimate. Therefore, my answer is also an what? Estimate. Here, they will not ask you that question. Because here, these are the real numbers. So whatever you get is what it is. Here, you are estimating by using the midpoint. Therefore, you have to state that my mean is an estimate because I did not know the real numbers. And I use the midpoint, which is an estimate. Finished. So this is what we call averages from frequency what? Table. I hope you found it useful. Again, this was given by one of my students who wanted me to explain this one. So I decided to do this type to help them. So thank you and enjoy it.